Hey guys, this is Sam with Cycle, and today I really quickly wanted to go through the frequency reactiveness settings with you in Cycle. First, let's head to these settings by going to the top right toolbar and clicking on the settings icon. Then, we'll go to the frequency reactiveness settings. Here, we can essentially set an equalizer to affect the incoming audio for the visualizer. For those who don't know, an equalizer is a tool where you can adjust different bands of frequencies to highlight certain parts of the song. First, we can apply and adjust a bandpass filter. This is great for really isolating certain frequencies in the song. The first slider adjusts the frequency of the bandpass filter, and the second slider adjusts how much it is applied to the audio. Then we have three sliders, which adjust three bands of frequencies. The first being the low frequencies, like the kick and bass. The second being the mid frequencies, like synthesizers, vocals, or other instruments. And the third being the high frequencies, like hi-hats or cymbals. Finally, the last three sliders adjust the resonance of the first three frequency bands, or how much they are applied to the audio. You are able to upload an MP3 to preview how the EQ is going to affect your incoming audio for the visualizer. We can also use our microphone to preview how the audio is affected by hitting the use mic button. You should be able to hear yourself. And don't worry. These settings only affect your audio input within Cycle, not the actual audio coming out of your speakers, headphones, or whatever outputs you have. Finally, we can name and create a frequency reactiveness preset, as well as load any previous ones we've made. We can select and use these in the visualizer control menu on the left. So now when we start our visualizer, we can use the presets we've created to affect the incoming audio. And that's how you can utilize frequency reactiveness presets within Cycle. Make sure to check out our other guides and our full overview of Cycle. Thanks so much for watching.